Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for coming back and joining us as we face our fears. My name is Bianca Cotton, and I am the founder of Behind the Confidence Now, where it's a movement where we inspire women to walk in love, live in hope, and be healed from past hurts. So thank you. Thank you for joining us today where we are in the midst of our Face and Fear series, and this is the fourth video of the series. How we have been flowing with this in the previous videos as I read a poem about fear and facing fears, and then give you a homework assignment at the end that will challenge you to grow and confront your fears and acknowledge your fears and no longer use your fears as as an excuse of why you cannot, why you, why you will not, and why you shouldn't do the things that God has called you to do. Why are we talking about fear? Because fear is stopping you from moving forward. That's why we're talking about it. We have to talk about it. You can no longer pretend like it doesn't exist in your life. You can no longer pretend like everything is okay, like life is wonderful, but inside you are dying because you have allowed fear to take root in your life and now it's time to uproot that thing, uproot the spirit of fear and kick it to the curb where it belongs. All right? So here... I will share this piece like I uh, stated earlier and then give you a homework assignment after the poem, right? I'm not giving you what I got is what I said. I'm not giving you what I got is what I thought. I'm not giving you what I got is how I behave. I kept my gifts clenched in my fists and would share with whom I deem worthy, who I thought deserved it, who I believed would cherish what I had to give. I'm not giving you what I got. If I had what's left, if I did, what's left for me? What will I do once I'm on E? I want to sow a seed, a big one, but it's hard to do that when my heart it's empty. It's raw. I've bled out a while ago. I should have dialed 911 to revive me. Why didn't I go to the emergency room for a blood transfusion? I can't believe I'm, I made it this far on E. My battery died long ago. I'm riding with three donuts on my car. While holding my fist clenched with my gifts inside, only handing them out to those I thought would care for me. Lift me up. Speak life and not death into the world, into the community, into me. I didn't know to sow the seeds into fertile ground and not dry bones. I am not God. I can't change you. I can't redirect your mind. That's not my job. My role is to release my gifts into the earth, plant, water, and plow. I will give you what I have. Because I realized it was never mine in the first place. I am not the owner of my gifts. I am a messenger. I am a mouthpiece. I am an arrow. I am a steward. So, ladies, how long will you... Hold on to the gifts God gave you in your fist like this instead of 
opening your hands and sharing it with who God called you to share it with? How long will you allow fear to make you feel like, well, in a month I'll have it perfected. I'll, it'll be perfect. I'll, I'll do it later. Or they hurt my feelings. They don't deserve what I have to give. Or no, I won't listen to the Holy Spirit when they show me who to pray for. How long will your fists remain so tightly clenched? How long? Starting today, it's time to release your fear as you release the gifts that God placed in you to share with whomever, wherever he has called you to share it. That is your homework for today. Ask God, if you don't know what your gifts are, ask God, Lord, what are my gifts? Reveal it to me and show me how to use it and to whom and go do it when he instructs you to. That's your homework, ladies. Let's do it. Comment below. I want to hear how it's going for you. Share this video. Get some more women on board. With facing their fears. I thank you for journeying with me. With Behind the Confidence Smile. And in this series. If you want more um, information about Behind the Confidence Smile. Check out our website at BehindTheConfidenceSmile.com. And it's also in the description of this video for you um, to click on. And another piece, I'll share this, I'll make this an entire video talking about how I face my fears to release my first book, A Journey Through a Beautiful Mind, which is a collection of poetry um, at a time where I really needed to get everything that was in me out, get the hurt, get the pain out, and I was suffering silently. And this is to help others to come out of suffering silently and it has a journal at the end of the book where you can write to so ladies is no excuse for why you cannot be healed and I have all the links in the description section for you uh, where you can find a journey through a beautiful mind which is on my website and Amazon and I just Hope that you take heed to what God is saying to you and move forward. Move forward. All right. Thank you for tuning in. See you soon.